Hi Capricorn, is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another very cool tarot reading, Capricorn, and I hope you are well. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and anybody with a lot of Capricorn in their chart, and anybody, too, who resonates with this reading, because it's a general reading. So this reading could be for any sign. It really could be. But let's get started, and uh, you're the kind of, you're the... Uh, you have first priority on this reading, Capricorn. You do. <laughs> Let's see what we got for you guys. And these have been shuffled. They have. Let's go ahead and get a couple cards. Uh, let's see what we have, you guys. And we have success and forgiveness. All right. Very interesting because, uh, you know, uh, we have, uh, for Sag had that card, forgiveness. But, hey, uh, everybody needs forgiveness at some point. Uh, in their life, they do, and success is showing up with the panther. Uh, the panther, or he, I think he's a panther, not a jaguar, but this talks about strength and courage. It definitely does, uh, and uh, this is very beautiful success. Somebody has courage here in order to succeed, uh, most likely in love, right? And here's the forgiveness card. Uh, maybe somebody has the courage to ask you for forgiveness, uh, Capricorn. That could be going on in this reading. Uh, let's see what we have, and today we're using these cards, <clears throat> and for Capricorn, we have emotional freedom, uh, very interesting, let's get another card, <clears throat> and yin and yang, and one more card for Capricorn, and the divine masculine, okay, here he is, uh, you know, he kind of looks like Ken, right, you guys know who Ken is, <laughs> I never had a Ken doll, uh, <clears throat> right, and anyway, um, uh, but this emotional freedom card, uh, it does talk about somebody who liberates themselves so they can be, so they can feel free to be happy, happy like emotionally, right? But this can be that somebody felt stuck, maybe in a relationship. Here is uh, like Pegasus, right, with the wings, and he's running. This is freedom. We see the horse uh, in general. And the little, uh, it's in winter, very interesting. Uh, and so here is the rabbit. And the rabbit is about fertility. He's going toward his happiness or abundance. And the owl is here. The owl says, yes, it's time to be free or break free from something. That's what the owl says. And the yin and the yang is showing up with the two hands, uh, right? This is the um, divine feminine and the divine masculine. And this talks about a completion. It's a number nine. <clears throat> and... It talks about something that completes itself or ends, right? And so with that, uh, somebody is standing in their power, Capricorn. You're in your power. You're in your divine feminine and your divine masculine. You are trusting your intuition, going with the flow, uh, doing what makes you happy. That's really what that's about, uh, <clears throat> right? And so, and so this is, you're in your power, right? The divine masculine is here as well. And the divine masculine has this, uh, you know, this lion here. And that talks about courage, just like this panther over here. The lion is about courage. And uh, he's got a shield on, right? And he has uh, the eagle. The eagle is about let me soar high and, you know, fly to new places, right? Ascend to new places. It can be about ascension, raising your consciousness. It can be about nobility. And it can also be about intelligence, uh, it can. And so we have the Horus, the Eye of Horus here. Uh, this was the <clears throat> the Egyptian king, I believe, or god, rather. And we also have the Swirl. So this is all about good things, protection, abundance, a courage, uh, the divine masculine. And that's what uh, somebody is wanting to, I believe, protect this. He looks like he wants to protect as well. Uh, but they have to have forgiveness, Capricorn. And so let's see what we have in the reading. Uh, emotional freedom is something very beautiful. Somebody could be freeing themselves and they want you to forgive them. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe they were <clears throat> maybe with somebody else. But the whole thing about uh, the yin and the yang is this, that this is somebody's in their higher self, right? You can't, you don't get the little brownie button of yin and, the yin and the yang unless you have moved into your higher self. No, you can't. It just doesn't work like that. Let's see what we have for you guys. If you'd like a psychic reading, Capricorn, you may always get one. Uh, and they are accurate. I'm a Silva grad. 
and uh, yeah, about your life or about you know somebody else's that you need uh, insight on, guidance. We do a tarot spread at the end, so you have two unique uh, insights. But you know you can get the psychic reading separate if you don't, right? Or a tarot reading separate as well. I was just you know uh, reading, looking at my chart, and I looked at this one placement, and it was just showing. Uh, it was just saying, uh, you're just, you know, you're like a psychic sponge. Yeah. And I, I really like that. Right. So today we're going to put out the, I'm putting out the astrology for the first week of August. And I tried putting it out yesterday, but you know, Mercury retrograde is coming. So maybe that was the problem. Right. And so <clears throat> Mercury retrograde happens on the fifth, I believe here in the United States. Uh, but I do talk about that. Uh, in the reading or on the fourth in the United States, I believe. Yeah, I think, I believe it's the fourth, but anyway, I talk about that in there. Uh, and you know, I'm, uh, more precise in, in there because, uh, it happens for other people in the world the next day. Yeah, this is kind of how it works out here. And so let's see what we have here. And that will be pinned at the top of the comments for all the 12 signs. We start with the 10 of pentacles, Capricorn. And realize, Capricorn, that this reading may be about somebody else close to you, right? If it is about love, of course. And let's see what we have. King of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the High Priestess showing up, the Nine of Swords. Somebody's worried here. Somebody could be setting themselves free from something and they are feeling completely self-sufficient here. Maybe they're single. This, could, this card, uh, it does, you know, it discusses being, you know, uh, self-sufficient, but sometimes to the point of you are completely independent of somebody else. We do have emotional freedom. So maybe somebody has set themselves apart from uh, an emotional relationship, possibly, right? That can be going on. The Knight of Cups reversed and the Eight of Pentacles. So we have courage right here, Capricorn, showing up as, you know, uh, basically, you know, the lion, the woman with the lion. This is a strength card. It's also about self-mastery. It's not because it, you can't, it's really hard to have courage if you don't, if you are not like a master of yourself right? Your own master. So self-mastery, growth, spiritual growth, and, you know, awakening, and that all helps, of course. Uh, that is really the source. It is. But uh, somebody here definitely uh, has, is in their higher self. I've already said that here with the yin and the yang, and this is self-mastery in this reading. And your overall energy, Capricorn, is the Ten of Pentacles. And <clears throat> this can talk about a family, uh, a legacy, <clears throat> it can talk about inheritance too. It can. And, you know, we have a few pentacles in the reading and, you know, maybe you are inheriting something. You could, maybe some money <clears throat> or property. But uh, in this reading, it can definitely talk about uh, somebody who really loves you here. It can. And they want forgiveness, right? And so the Ten of Pentacles showing up, and this may be you wanting forgiveness possible. Uh, this can be about a family. It can be a completion. And somebody has the courage here to kind of let a chapter complete itself that could be going on here right in the reading and here is the seven of swords too that may be a confirmation of that it may be in the past a decision was made here is the king of swords sitting in the past he looks like <clears throat> he looks like this kind of uh he looks like somebody who is super um this is argentine I forget his name i think his name is matthias De Stefano, yeah, he is a spiritual guru, right? He is. He's all on Gaia, and uh, definitely he's talking about that he's been to other places, I believe, in the world. Uh, not in the world, out of, in another world, right? I'm pretty sure he says that, but let's see what we have. We have the Nine of Wands here, and he may be, uh, he's definitely, uh, he, yeah, I mean, he's awesome. He definitely is. And so here we have the nine of wands in the heart of the matter. This is somebody who, uh, maybe this is you Capricorn and this person has self mastery and maybe they hurt your feelings. This talks about somebody who is kind of plugging forward, being resilient, but they've been hurt and they, yet they are still resilient because they want something they want. They're protecting something or they want to protect it right here. 
And so here he is with a bandage and uh, he's, you know, he's completing a chapter in his life or he wants something to complete as well, right? And here he is and uh, yeah, very interesting here. And he's about to drop something, a burden as well, or about to lay down something heavy because the next card is the 10. So here's the nine of wands. He's about to let something go and it could have to do with the seven of swords where he walks away, right? And uh, this isn't always about sneakiness uh, because I don't see anything else in the reading. Oh, the Knight of Cups is reversed. Yeah, well, that could be uh, that there was some deception here. Definitely could be going on here. And so let's look here at the ten, at the King of Cups. And he is here. He could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Here is the High Priestess, right? And let's get a card on that and on him and we have the six of cups so this is assisting you for in some way it's helping you cap or it's favorable for you uh this could be somebody from the past or feels like you are a friend maybe or just really special definitely and you know they recognize something about you possibly if you are not a friend or somebody from your you know way in the past it, it doesn't have to be that this can be a recognition that you're just so awesome because it's a six and the sixes are recognizing. Yes, they are uh, after something. Usually the five is after some challenging chapter. And this is how we learn, right? We always learn with adversity. Yeah, we don't learn with, right? Uh, no, things that are uh, smooth uh, because, you know, <laughs> no, it, it doesn't work like that, right? Uh, and so the king of swords sits in the past with the six of pentacles. Another recognizing here uh, Capricorn that you are like this person's, uh, like soulmate, their other half. And you may be granting them emotional freedom. And what I mean by that is that you set their heart free. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like they are hoping here because we have forgiveness next to it, hoping that you will kind of set them free and agree, agree to be in a union with them. That's how it looks here. So here's the six of pentacles. This person already has decided that they want uh, a union with you. That is a sharing give and take. Yeah. Equal, right? Because they're both equal here and they, they have made, there's a huge recognition in here. It's a huge, it's a powerful realization because the yin and the yang is allowing that, right? Trusting your intuition is allowing uh, a powerful realization or a powerful revelation unto themselves, definitely, right? Or unto you, if that is you. And here's the Nine of Pentacles coming into play. And it is about self-sufficiency and uh, possibly somebody who's single here uh, with the devil. Look at that. So, you know, this is, uh, this is about fear, kind of. It can be like, I felt really stuck. I have to be single here, possibly, in order to emotionally free myself and be with Capricorn or Capricorn might not want me if I'm not single that could be going on here it can also be uh you know I just have to be super self-sufficient and uh she is in her higher self basically the nine of pentacles right she's made it to the nine uh she's here on her you know on her vineyard you know with the money it doesn't mean that the money is making uh is bringing any higher consciousness no but she knows uh, her values. She knows her worth. She's got all these pentacles, right? The pentacles are about values and beliefs as well. So she knows herself and she knows, uh, she knows what, she knows her worth. Yeah, definitely. And we have uh, the high priestess coming in the future, uh, very near here with the two of pentacles in the near future. Uh, this is uh, wondering here, uh, this could be about something external possibly, but, uh, this is definitely, this is somebody who's trusting their intuition that, that there's this soulmate energy here. Yeah. Most likely here. I feel like you guys are, if you guys come together, you're coming together as the yin and the yang, right? And, but both of you are whole, right? Both of you are, uh, you know, in the divine feminine and in the divine masculine, or you have accepted that. Uh, right? And it's interesting about forgiveness. It always talks about acceptance. It just does. It's so like, and not resisting, right? And that's a whole spiritual conversation to have. It is a video in itself, right? The nine of swords showing up, and this is your advice 
This person's worried that uh, things are not going to work. They're not going to have a new beginning with you. Uh, this is worried about that. This is kind of, you know, anxiety where uh, closing out cycles. I hope I have a new one. Uh, this is I've come full circle. This could mean that somebody had to do a lot here. And what I mean by that is, you know, change their life possibly. And they had to have the courage to do it. Here is the strength card. Yeah, they had to have that. And so the seven of swords in the environment showing up with the star. And, you know, this is definitely, uh, 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 said uh, Capricorn, I beg your pardon. This is definitely have to cover her. She's naked, right? Uh, and she's, you know, this beautiful woman here. And this is hope and faith. And this can be ascending with the star. Right. When you're born, uh, your ascendant or your rising sign is the rising star. This can be ascension. It definitely can. Very interesting with that. And it does add up to uh, we have the one and the seven. This adds up to an eight and eight is about progress and your power. So we have here in the environment, somebody who basically, I believe, has ascended or awakened. Right. The star is about, you know, uh, your, your spirituality, the stars, right? They're all here. It is about hope and faith as well, but it comes with this knowing, this higher knowing. And we have, uh, this is the all knowing and we know spiritually all knowing, right? Trusting your intuition. Here is the high priestess to show that. So here we have right next to her, right? So here we have this woman and this is in the environment. This is somebody who maybe walks away from something so they can have this new beginning. Uh, but this is like the spiritual new beginning. This is, it's divine. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's what this is about. And uh, this is in your environment, Capricorn. This is somebody maybe who leaves behind their sneaky ways. That's a possibility. Uh, and now they have, you know, ascended like, or they have awakened Definitely. And because we know there's an awakening here with the yin and the yang and the divine masculine, there's no way there can't be a, an awakening here. It just doesn't work like that. And here's the knight of cups in the hopes and fears. So this person might've been sneaky in their lower self in the past. Uh, they could, they could worry you'll reject them. Capricorn, the knight of cups reverse can be, I don't, I don't want this. This is not my cup, right? I don't want your offer. Uh, and yeah, it could be, they could be, I feel like they're probably afraid because look at the nine of swords. This is worry. And so, uh, afraid of maybe you're going to reject them or maybe what they've done. Eight of wands reverse. Look at that. Ouch. And that is, uh, blockages, uh, too many, maybe too many responsibilities. This can be stagnation because the eight of wands, uh, upright is movement. This person is afraid this is going to be stagnant and uh, you're not, they're not going to move forward with you. Wow. They could be afraid here. Maybe, maybe you have kind of led them astray in some way, Capricorn, right? And they could be afraid here that, uh, that that's going to block this. Definitely this forward movement because they want this, uh, with you or you are the one, right? You can switch the whole reading if you'd like. Eight of Pentacles shows the outcome. So here's, there's fears here. When we see the Knight of Cups here in the hopes and fears, it's reversed with the Eight of Wands reversed. It's all about fear. There's not going to be change. Uh, Capricorn won't accept my cup or I was sneaky in the past and maybe they blocked you. That can talk about block. They blocked you in the past. Definitely. They could have blocked you here. Eight of Pentacles shows up in the outcome and Capricorn, it's all about this devotion, dedication, I'm going to do my best. Here's this, here's a decision here to do that. They're going to do their best with you. So, uh, if this is your reading, you should, you know, and this is about them, uh, right. This definitely, uh, this talks about somebody who's going to be good. Somebody who's grown up, right. It's hard to do anything without that, isn't it? Yeah, it, it really is. And, uh, Mm -hmm. It's hard to see that when you're, when you're not though. And then when you finally are like really grown or you raised your consciousness, then you're like, wow, I, I see it now, right? <laughs> I see it in hindsight. We're going to end this reading. Thanks so much for joining me. If you would like to see the, uh, I'm putting the astrology up, uh, and it is for all the 12 signs, the horoscope, it'll be at the top of the comments. Thanks so much for joining me here. You guys, God bless. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, get your, hit the little bell to get your uh, to, you know, get your, 
uh, notifications and uh, get your psychic reading. Yes, lots of fun and uh, definitely very personal, very helpful. Yes, they are. Thanks so much, guys.